There you go. Thought twice about coming here today. Oh, have you got a lot on? Yes, but that's not the reason. That's the reason. Leanne, you mean? When I walked in here last night and you were on your way out with her, heading off to some club or something... Well, just for something to do. It didn't mean anything. Anyway, I said that you were welcome to come along. Yes, you did. Thank you very much. But I wasn't pleased at being put on a par with her, Mark. And the only reason I didn't put you straight there and then was... Well, I didn't want her as an audience. Really? There's nothing going on. I'm not sharing you with the barmaid of a backstreet pub. Do you understand that, Mark? You're not sharing me with anyone, Claire. OK? Right. I have to go. Are you going to come round to mine this evening? Tonight? Um... Yeah. Cook some food. Make some plans for Bruges. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, actually, tonight's no good. My old man's been on my case. We've got a backlog of paperwork. But soon, though, yeah? OK. Mm. I thought you wanted serving. Uh, Leanne? What? Are you working tonight? Uh, no. Night off. Do you fancy going out, then? Been all over you. India, Australia. Yeah, not quite. Not yet. <laughs> oh, I'd love to travel. Well, I've been to Canada. That was with Nick, my ex. But you think that's awful, don't you? Me being divorced already at my age. No, I don't. Well, everybody else around here does. No, I just would love to get away sometimes. Hey, if you really want to, you will. Oh, it's all right for you. Off to Bruges with Claire. Yeah, that was my dad's idea of a treat. And he made Claire part of the package, not me. Yeah, but you'll still go, aren't you, with Claire? Hmm. I'd sooner take you. I really fancy you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. No. And what's up? You've got a girlfriend, Mark. Claire? It's not serious. No. Listen. I was lying in a hospital bed at New Year with a lot of bruises. Not all of them, the kind that you can see. And I made a few resolutions about my life. One of them being never to be a bit on the side. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Oh, what are you doing here? Oh, I came to see you. Only I got to him first and roped him into bringing me up a crate of lagers from the cellar. And they very kindly offered me a cup of tea. <laughs> what, do you want to come up to my room? Hey, steady on. This is a respectable house. <laughs> I meant to talk. I know. Look, you can talk here. Me and Gina are going next door, aren't we? Ready when you are. My turn in the cellar. Thanks, Mark. Any time. What's he doing looking up the crates anyway? She doesn't think I'm strong enough. I don't want you doing yourself an injury. I won't. Well, if you insist. Well, where's Vinny? He's gone in search of greener pastures. You are Labouring on Victoria Street. What, he's left? Oh, don't ask why, Leanne. It's too complicated. Oh, have you had a row? If only it were that simple. Well, your dad be wondering where you are. <laughs> I don't need to bother clocking in and out. I'm a partner. Anyway, uh, I wanted to talk to you about last night. Yeah, I think the sooner we forget about last night, the better, eh? Why? We didn't do anything. No, we didn't. I wasn't playing hard to get, you know. I didn't say you were. I meant what I said. I've got a lot more respect for myself now. Yeah, well, I've got a lot of respect for you, too. As Jerry Springer would say, any man who claims to care for two women really only cares for himself. Oh! <laughs> Listen, if Claire was off the scene, would you be interested in going out on me? I might be. That's all I came to find out. Yes. Oh, by the way, um, what are you doing later? Do you really finish with Claire? You said to choose between you and her. So here I am. Honestly? Leanne, could you serve, please? Uh, I'll talk to you later, yeah? Yeah. You're on your own. Yeah, and I'd sooner stop on my own if you're going to give me another lecture. I just don't understand how you can ditch a classy bird like that. I mean, she had everything. Yeah, well, she was getting too serious. Bundles of personality. I'm too young to settle down, Dad. You're too quick to knock it on the head. A relationship needs time to grow. Yeah, well, we just weren't right for each other. I like women with a bit more edge, which you should understand. <laughs>